Uh, yeah, maybe. <laughs> that cute little cute guy again. Okay. We're live. We're live. We're live now. We get the. Huh? Trying to get the page open now. Oh. As you come in, give us a thumbs up, say hi, let us know where you're Ooh, at tonight. Um, hi everyone. Oh, come on. It, uh, is it coming up? Oh, okay, finally. <laughs> hi, Barbara. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Allie. Hi, Jane. Hi, Barbara. Hi, Sharon. Oh, I gotta turn the sound down. I'm gonna give y'all feedback. We were having some technical difficulties before we started, so I've had to put the laptop right here in front of me. Hopefully, it's not in the way and you guys um, can't see it. So I apologize. Hi, Linda. Hi, Renee. Hi everybody, thanks for joining us tonight. I know it's been a little while and uh, <coughs> I know it's late. <laughs> Grandparents hi, are Sharon. on, yeah, hi Sharon. Grandparents are on vacation, so we've got the little hi, guys hi. with us tonight and they're kind of riled up and wasn't sure we were gonna be able to go live at all because they're a little rambunctious, but um, we'll try to get through this. If they pop in and out, I, uh, I hope you guys don't mind. So I don't really have anything planned tonight. I have um, a wreath base that I've started that I'm going to put some ribbons on and a sign. Um, and we'll just kind of see how late it is and see who's with us and go from there. If you don't mind, um, share. Give a share. Let others out there know that we're live. Um, I know this was kind of last minute. Um, I, know I apologize. <laughs> um, so let's see here. Ah, okay. All right. It's strange because you're on that side now. And yeah. And you don't have the computer. No, I'm just here. Well, dang. Is there any, anything else you want to try before I get started? No. No? No? Hey, I don't know if any of you saw the post that I made earlier on the page of my little guy, Logan Lolo, um, making a wreath. And he wants to show you guys what he made for me. And um, I just want you to know that he learned this um, from watching videos as I watch them. He'll sit beside me when I binge watch YouTube videos and stuff or watch my training videos. And um, he sits there and watches them with me. So he's learned this just by watching that. So Logan, do you want to come show your wreath to everybody that you made? Yeah? Okay. <coughs> Hi, Karen. Yeah, starting him early. He's my crafty kid. He has his own craft box, and he loves to craft with me. So here's the creation that he made. <laughs> and I want you guys to see that he even went so far as to zip tie the flowers in. How awesome is that? He called them Ziplocs, which I thought was totally adorable. But he made this for me, and he is super proud of it. Do you want to say anything to anybody? <coughs> what do you want to say? Hi. Yeah, say hi. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. Mommy loves her wreath. Mm. All right. Okay, go finish working on it. <laughs> so he has like his own craft box. And when I go to the craft store shopping, he's um, always asking if he can go in with me. And he'll see something, I'll be like, Mom, you can put this in your wreath. <laughs> so um, I love uh, bonding with him over crafting. Go, go. So let's see who's here. Oh, wow. There's a lot of you guys here. Thanks for joining us. All right. So um, <coughs> I went uh, a little bit of shopping this afternoon. I was hoping to score some of the 80% Christmas clearance at Hobby Lobby, but I have to say that ours was picked over. There was a, a few picks left, mostly just gold and ivory ribbon and a couple of the ugly red, you know, red ones. There was no mesh, there were no frames, there was nothing. So the it was, 
Huh? The next, the next Nick. Nick. Yeah, the next Nick or Damon. He, he is. He would love it. He begs to go live every day, and I keep telling him no, no, no. But um, one of these days, I'm going to let him go live for you guys and make his own wreath because he's adorable. Um, oh gosh, what was I saying? Oh, so Hobby Lobby. So yeah, ours was picked over. So I didn't really get um, much at uh, yeah. Hobby Lobby yeah. except for yeah. the sign that we're going to use on this wreath base. So I did this wreath base a couple of nights ago. It is the ruffle technique. There are 18 ties, and I used 30 inch ruffles, one per tie. Then I used um, black and silver, or white, I don't know, silver, deco tubing in every other tie. And then I took 10 inch black and white basket weave mesh the curl method and put one every other tie. So that's as far as I've gotten on this wreath base. And it is a, a 14 inch wire frame. Yes. And we need cutters to cut his tubing. Okay, he's still adding to his wreath, guys. So um, <laughs> I'm gonna pass along the toolbox <laughs> and uh, let him get busy. So anyway, um, I did this wreath base and it's the same wreath base that I did for, uh, let me see if I can grab it for this piece, but it's going to look a lot different um, when I get it done. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, did it. Yay. Okay. So the sign that I was able to get at Hobby Lobby today for this is this cute sign. It says welcome. Six tubes. And it's aluminum. Hi, Rita. Cast is a slacker. Tell them. Get on him. <laughs> Linda, there was still a lot of ribbon left at your Hobby Lobby because um, I should have went live just to say, hey, you guys, it, it, go check yours because there's nothing left in mine. Sharon, don't you love it? I um, actually have this planned for um, a few wreaths. Actually, I got a bunch of it. I'm in love with it. Hey, Lolo, everybody's saying they love it. They love your wreath. Yeah, you got a lot of hearts. All right, guys. Thank you. He says thank you. Um, also, I got some more orange burlap to do the carrots. I don't know if um, any of you have seen the carrot, the rustic burlap carrot that I did. Um, give me uh, the yay or nay, hearts, thumbs up. Let me know <coughs> if you would like to see, and I will do a tutorial. I'll come live, and I'll show you guys how to do that one. Thank you guys for sharing. I appreciate it. If you've just joined, um, this is not really a tutorial. We're just hanging out. I'm going to decorate a wreath base um, with this cute sign that I picked up at Hobby Lobby today. And uh, chit chat, answer questions. Um, if you haven't shared and don't mind sharing, please give it a share. <laughs> I'm going to take the scissors away from it. Yeah, later. that might be a good idea. Those are sharp. <coughs> I also, um, since I, it was a bust at Hobby Lobby, I stopped in Trees and Trends. And I was able to score this gorgeous ribbon on Christmas clearance, 80, 70, 90% off. It was, what? No, it was 50% off Christmas, right? And then another 20% off with the coupon. So I got great deals at Trees and Trends today. Any idea on the Manly Reef yet? Um, I'm either thinking like military <laughs> or I was thinking, um, fishing, fishing, hunting, or even doing a, uh, um, EMT fire and, uh, police, um, tight wreath, um, to kind of pay tribute to those guys. Why do you keep rolling down? Cause I'm reading. Oh, okay. I was curious. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I was like, all oh, the new you, ones are up. You no, keep talking. The new ones are up at the top. Okay, I know. I was catching up. Sorry. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I'm thinking something like that. Um, probably either an all fire, um, an all fire one, because I have a couple of friends that are uh, fire. Um, but, you know, a tribute to uh, the guys Daddy. back here. Joanne's is 75% off, Joan. 
Unfortunately, now that we've moved from Washington, <laughs> we don't have um, any craft stores close. My closest Hobby Lobby and Michaels and Trees and Trends is 45 minutes away. The closest Joann's is um, an hour away. So I'm not very blessed in the, the craft stores anymore where, as in Washington, I had all of them, multiples of them within two miles of me. So it's been a little bit of culture shock. I've had to do some better planning um, for what I intend to put in wreaths, you know, because I have to order stuff now. So anyway, Veronica, we were gonna go to Sam's today and get some ribbon, but when we were there last week, it was pretty much picked over and I, I pretty much got what I wanted last week. So I didn't even bother going again today. Oh, there's Rose. We gotta really learn how to sign language. So I know. So talk to say hi to Rose. All right, so let's move along. Um, and Check decorate New Zealand. Week. Welcome, New Zealand. Thanks for joining. Okay. Also, did you want to grab those other two cute ribbons, my psychedelic ones, to add to my collection so I can show them? The ones that we did with the open box the other day? Uh, that's on that one shelf where everything is, the one below it. The green and yellow? Yeah. Those are the ones we got today. Um, I need to get my tools. Let me, give me just one second. Let me grab my tools um, that I'm going to need for this sign. Um, all right, since the sign that we're going to be attaching to this is a metal sign, I'm going to need to put a hole in it. And it already comes with two holes in the top. So I'm just going to put one in the bottom to make sure it's going to stay on here really well. All right, quick, show you the ribbon I got. If you tuned into our last live when we did our craft outlet unboxing, I showed some spring ribbon selections that I had ordered. And, um, oh, well, that was lovely. Lolo, can you go get <laughs> when I was at Trees and Trends today, um, their ribbon selection is small, or section is small, I should say. But I did score these two to add to that collection. So I don't know if you can see, Daddy, gosh, all the lights. <laughs> Surely he does have his, uh, his own bi uh, craft box. Yes, he does. It's um, it's yay tall, yay wide. It's got a handle on it. And show it off. And uh, do you have the cutters over there? Yeah. Okay, I need them when you're done, please. We're sharing tools here. It's also pretty heavy. Oh, you want to come back here and show them? Yeah. Okay. And it's also pretty heavy right now. Okay. Well, come over here. Come around and show them your craft box. Is it heavy? It is heavy. <laughs> What's in it? Hi, Tammy. <laughs> well, tell did tell did you think that we had sworn off doing lives tell anymore? Us. Tell them what's in it. Um, this is, this is Tammy, my it. ruffles for the base were 30 inches long. Huh? And the this. reason we do... Sorry, go ahead. This, this is what's in it. <laughs> well, here. Careful, there's googly eyes, eyes, all kinds of pipe paint. cleaners, there's paint, there's markers, colored pencils, stencils, oh, pom-pom balls, you name it. Uh, pretty much the whole craft section of the dollar store, Dollar Tree, is in that box. So back to the ruffles. Um, I did 30-inch ruffles because a deco mesh phrase. And if you do, um, like some people do, um, three 10 inch ruffles per tie, then you have a lot of rough edges that, you know, will fray. So if you do one solid cut of 30 inches, you cut down on the fraying. So there's 18 ties, um, 30 inch ruffles in each. This is a 10 inch, um, this part is um, 10 inch uh, basket weave, black and white mesh. Um, and I cut it at 10 inches and did the curl and placed one in every other tie. Sharon says that that's an awesome craft box, Lolo. They think you're <laughs> you. they you're think welcome, you're, Tammy. They say you're a cutie patootie. Thank you. <laughs> Tammy, his name is Logan, but we call him Lolo. Um, okay, so back to preparing our sign. Um, it came with two holes in the top and a chain. I just took my cutters and cut the chain out, and I'm gonna poke or uh, punch a hole here in the bottom. 
So I have my tin punch here, or whatever you call it, and I'm going to find approximately the center by eyeball, <laughs> and I'm going to punch a hole. <laughs> Why and are you I am so the worst. afraid of it? <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm not. I'm just oh, okay. like trying to make sure I get the center. And it is the tiniest, tiniest hole. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. Um, will you put that back in the toolbox, please? Are you sure that was centered? Um, I was going down by that. Well, oh, okay. maybe not. It doesn't matter, <laughs> honestly. I need my floral stems. Actually, I'm going to do ribbon next. So let's choose some ribbon. Mom, hey, Daddy, can I? What do you want to what tell them? What do you them? want to tell them? <laughs> Come on. This should be interesting. Right? Oh, okay. Okay, go ahead. Come over here. What would you like to say? Where do you want me to put this? <laughs> he wants suggestions. All right, go down there and finish, okay? Daddy will I'll cut you, you some I'll deco tubing you. and show you where to put it, okay? All right, so I have to figure out... Um, uh, how we're going to do our ribbon. Usually at this point, um, I figure out if I'm going to do a terry bow or like a, a whimsical bow or a funky bow. Um, those are about the only two that I do. Um, but I really wanted to use this four inch ribbon. So we're going to start with that, I think. And I'm going to set this to the side and grab my rotary cutter. How was everybody's Christmas? Uh, yep, it was. Huh? Hayden was on YouTube Kids, and that's why we were going for Oh, it. yeah. YouTube Kids drains our internet. What? Oh, okay. I really need a new rotary cutter blade. One more thing, Mijo. Um, I got lots of toys from Christmas. Hi guys. From Santa. Oh, there's a big guy. Hi guys. <laughs> me and hey, me and my brother got lots How of toys everyone? from Christmas. My okay, guys. My brother's ten and I'm okay. five. Okay, okay guys. Go back. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Thank you, Lolo. <laughs> we have very energetic boys. All right. I hope you can see my workspace here. <laughs> Veronica, you had a great Christmas with the grandkids. Everybody's saying hi now. All right, I okay. think I'm going to Hello. cut these at 14 inches. And I'm sorry, um, my rotary cutter blade, I just, for this fabric, doesn't want to go through it. That's some rough stuff. You don't want to go through? No, it stopped it dead in its tracks on that seam. I'm going to do, I think, this in every other one, so I'm only going to cut nine. And yes, I know there are many other ways to cut this a lot quicker, <laughs> but this is really informal tonight. I'm not really uh, doing a full-blown tutorial. We're just hanging out while I work on this. Tomorrow night, though, we are going to be going live. And it's a special piece that's near and dear to my heart. Um, a friend of mine from childhood, her son suffers from JRA, which is juvenile um, rheumatoid arthritis. And I have rheumatoid arthritis. So um, he's very active and, you know, maintains a normal lifestyle. And he's a trooper. And, you know, I see her post sometimes about how he's hurting and, and my heart just goes out to him because I know how tough it is to deal with as an adult and he's a child. So gosh, I get all misty thinking about yeah, it. Yeah, Sharon, it'll be earlier. We will try and yeah, make it earlier. It'll be it'll be way <laughs> earlier. I'll um I'll announce a time tomorrow morning. I've got a sitter arranged since the grandparents got a town. And um it'll be just us. So but it'll be much more formal, not laid back like this. But I'm not wearing a tie. No, no tie. Three, four, five. So anyway, um, she, he is on the archery team for his school, and they're having a fundraiser. And she was, um, you know, polling her friends who were business owners to see if they would donate. 
and I just felt compelled to make that donation. Um, so I'm going to be doing that piece tomorrow night live if you guys want to tune in. You want to show them the M one, the M with the M one? Oh yeah, sure. Um, if you guys saw the post on the page the other day, here is the hand painted sign by none other than Mr. Man over here that's going to go on that wreath. And um, the school is, is Murray High School, Murray Tigers, and this is their logo. So tune in tomorrow night for that. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One more. Mama, I want to say something. Okay, what, baby? Um, um, you won't be able to see us tomorrow. <laughs> You're adorable, it's Bubba. Okay. Tom, we'll see them. You'll see them after the new year. You'll see us after the new year. Okay, good job. <laughs> Tammy, yeah, I know I shouldn't use my rotary cutter for this, but it's just so much easier on my hands than scissors, and I get lazy. It's my own fault. <laughs> I'm used to using dull scissors. I used dull scissors for the first several months, um, or a couple of months. All right, so... Um, I'm going to put what they call a dovetail in the ends of my ribbon. It just finishes off the ribbon nicely. So you fold it in half and you cut from this folded side down to the end. So just like that. That's for the newbies. And yeah, and it puts, puts this pretty little V cut. They call it a dovetail chevron V cut. It goes by many names, but this is what it is. The ribbon tails, um, Natalie, for this um, four inch ribbon, I did 14 inches because I want it to be very prominent and stand out. Um, the other ones, I'm not sure how long I'm gonna cut them yet. I'll let you know when we get there. <laughs> I'm not even sure which ribbons I'm gonna use yet other than these. So let's put some dove cuts in the rest of these. I'm coming to Kentucky to get, I can't see what that says. To get, you're coming to get Logan? <laughs> you might bring him back real quick. <laughs> no, our kids are precious, but they're like any kids, you know. It's gotten really cold here really fast, so they've been cooped up inside. No way to expend that extra energy that, you know, they get built up. Quit sneaking in there, hey. <laughs> are you peeking? <laughs> Sorry guys, no. I hope I don't bore you with cutting ribbon. Like I said, tonight is just informal, not a tutorial. We're just hanging out, chatting. Just hanging out, chatting. Like we always do. Oh cool, I can take it off. Now guys, Rose, she watches most of us designers' videos and I really wish that we knew sign language so we could help her out. Um, we don't ignore her. Thank you for those who are, are helping answer her questions. When we post them, uh, the videos on YouTube, and you can uh, get closed the captions. captions then. Yes, I um, use closed captions for everything that I watch now. <laughs> Thanks to the military and his hearing loss, we watch everything um, in closed captions now. Daddy? It's all good, oh. though. Hi, Ginger. <laughs> Welcome. Where are your cutters at? My cutters, everything's in the box there. Um, Daddy, can I show them? Sharon, we like it when you hang out can with I us. Show them one more thing? Hang out with us. Um, I'll tell you, the, the one that we're doing tomorrow night is going to be um, a grapevine. So. Something a little different. What, ooh, what was that? No, I got to show you. Okay. No, we're done showing off, okay? You can say bye. You can I say goodbye if you want to, but that's that, that okay? You want to say goodbye? Bye-bye. So, thank you for the hearts. Thank you for the hearts. Bye, guys. See you Will you guys time. go sit down then? <laughs> Aquaman. Peace out, guys. Okay. Aquaman. All right. Okay, thank you, Bubba. Go over there. So I take my ribbon, bend it in half, squish it in the middle, and which tie do I want? I'm going to put it in 
the ties that have the deco tubing in it. So I'm going to undo the tie, lay in my ribbon, and twist it back down. <laughs> Are you making faces behind Daddy? <laughs> All right. So there we go. There's the first one. Good night, Ginger. Thank you for tuning in. You can always catch the replay. You guys, um, for those of you just joining, if you haven't shared, please share. Um, might have some friends on or friends on your friends list that like to get crafty too. Um, I did cut this four-inch ribbon in 14-inch strips, and I'm gathering in the middle to form a bow tie. And I'm putting it in every other tie. <laughs> and it happens to be the ties that I put tubing in on this one. I'm going to put Aquaman on there. Give it a couple of good twists and fluff it. And I think I got that one a little off center, so I'm going to pull it a little bit. There we go. I wouldn't suggest pulling like that on every kind of ribbon because I've pulled some <laughs> ribbon apart, but um, most of it you can. This heavy canvas ribbon, because that's what this is. Hi, Phyllis. Thanks for joining. I'll tell Logan that you like his work. Thank you, Ginger. <laughs> I appreciate that. I promise in the new year there's going to be a lot more tutorials coming. It has been a lot on our plate, this relocation here at the holidays um, for our family. So it, it's been a lot to deal with and still try to keep, you know, the business in forward motion. So I appreciate those of you who have been patient with us and still have continued to follow us since day one. And um, we really, we, we do appreciate you guys. Natalie, it's okay. I think um, hopefully maybe some of the other ladies will help answer her questions. Oh yeah, me. and he starts um, his new job on the 7th and starts back up for spring um, quarter. Spring semester. Spring semester, sorry. Spring semester on January 18th. So after that, you'll see quite a bit less of him and a lot more of just me. <laughs> Sharon. Yes, yes, yes Sharon. Sharon. You have been there since day one, hon. Thank you. <laughs> Mama, look what I'm doing. I'm putting Aquaman on the wing. Phyllis says congratulations. All uh, right, thank you. Mama, look what, what I'm doing. You're making more? No, I'm putting Aquaman, You're putting Aquaman on, on the wing. Oh. <laughs> um, so... Tutorials I've got coming up. I've got, um, of course, tomorrow night we're going to do, oh, what am I doing here with the, Cortana's trying to tell me something here on my laptop. Um, I've got the grapevine tomorrow night, and then hopefully in the next couple of days after that, there's going to be a, a spring win, and I can't decide if it's going to be a wreath or if I'm going to do a, a swag. But I know I've got those few coming up in the next week or so. So um, I hope you guys can tune in. Um, I'm working for a window building, lead. dorm window making company. Yeah, a manufacturing. Daddy, a manufacturing job. Um, here at here Murray. Okay. It's something that he can do, earn a decent wage that offers benefits and still be able to go to school. That's been our most important focus was keeping him in um, in school and able to do his homework and you know facilitate some good grades. Can I show him? Before we go to bed. Before we go. All right. So it looks like um, it looks like we've got to vote for a swag. And <laughs> some of you say do both, and I just might do both. Um, It'll depend on if I do the swag first, I may have to order some more floral stems because I don't have a, a whole bunch in inventory right now. Um, so we'll, we'll see. I'll pull my supplies together and um, figure out which one would I can do the easiest and the quickest right off the bat, and that'll be the one we do. 
Mari. Yes. Oh, everybody's saying Good swag. Guess. So, so okay, maybe swag. I haven't really done one of those for what? you guys swag? live. Yeah, I mean, I've done them off Shoot, camera. You got two. Oh yeah. Houses that you could use. Uh -huh. Or lanterns or whatever. Oh, lantern swags? Yeah. Well, I was meaning more like the uh, Christmas one. Do you want to oh, show it? that one too. Do you want to show it? Yeah. He's going to... get that black thing out? Uh, uh, okay. Will it not work with the mouse? I don't know. I can't read it. Okay. Give me just a second. I'll put this ribbon in. Sharon, you, you don't care. <laughs> So this is, here, maybe hold it down even a little lower. This is the winter snowman swag that I did last. <laughs> trying to get it all in there. <laughs> There's a lot to it. Ah. Hi, Cheryl. Thanks for joining. Okay, all right. They kind of got off. Okay, I'm going to put the mouse right there. I'm going to move this back just a little bit. All right, where do we get to? Right here. So I'm just folding this four inch ribbon in half and gathering in the middle. Let me see. I really love four inch ribbon in a bold print. It makes your wreath pop, gives it, you know, such a, a texture and a dimension. And um, it covers a lot of real estate. So if you're using some thin mesh, um, this takes up a lot of space, fills in nicely. Roxana, we sell, um, we have an Etsy shop actually. Let me put that in there real quick. And, um, I'll put it up there where I'm never on this side. This is so strange. How do I comment? I don't know how to comment on this. Comment right up. Where? No, no, don't go there, there. Well, it wouldn't do anything. No. It won't do anything. I really love technology. Not. <laughs> All right, we have an Etsy shop, and um, if you want to get on your phone and put it on there, that'd be great. Okay. It's um, www.etsy.com forward slash shop forward slash Halo Creative Designs. You can always just go to Etsy and search us, put our name in the search bar, and you can find us that way. It's Halo, H-A-Y-L-O, for Hayden and Logan Halo. Halo Creative Designs. So if you just put us put us in the search bar, um, we'll pop up for you. Wow, I've got no service. Step outside and do it if you have to. Oh, I'll sit in the in the G. in the nine degree temperatures with it's the like wind show advisory. Sure, I'll stand outside for you, love. Cause you love me. <laughs> we um, the shop's in a garage and it's. Um, metal and it it deflects our signal so we have zero cell service in here and it you know our internet is uh sketchy as well so all right we have all of the four inch thanks shelly i enjoyed making that swag swags are actually pretty fun so we have all the four inch ribbon in and now it's time to decide which other ribbon we're going to use. And I think we're going to go... Mm, where did my sign go? Let's see how the sign looks and match the ribbon to that. So, with Lolo stuff up here, I'm running out of room. Sorry guys, let's get the wreath back up here. All right, so I'm gonna put my sign here. I'm thinking, what did I do with it? There it is. Thinking it's gonna be this black honeycomb. I really enjoy this black honeycomb. Okay. 
in. No, because that's too much like the basket weave. You know what? I think I'm actually going to put some more of this four inch ribbon on it and then I'm going to add more. He's going to be mad when he comes in because I just took his chair. Wow. So we're going to cut a few more of these. Again, I apologize. Um, Dad. He went outside. No, he didn't. He's right there. <laughs> Is Daddy hiding? <laughs> I remember our very first live and we were so nervous. <laughs> I wasn't nervous. No, you like public speaking, but I had, you know, nearly had to throw up beforehand. Um, you like the solid black Mandy? Yeah, I'm going to add some of it, but um, I think I'm just going to put this four inch in every tie and then add the one and a half inch on top of it. I just think it looked better. Um, do I sell wreaths and how much? Nancy, yes. I do sell wreaths, and my honey is trying to put the Etsy shop link up there and pin it so you can click on it. But we have an Etsy shop, and it just depends on how much I have in the wreath as to how much I charge. I don't charge the same thing for everything because supplies cost, you know, different. So um, there's an equation that goes into the pricing. But you are welcome to... Um, to check out our Etsy shop. I am just now starting to get Valentine's in there. Um, I'm going to have more Easter, some Springs going in. I don't know if I'm going to do St. Patty's Day this year. I may, I may not. I haven't quite decided yet. Um, but as the next couple of weeks go on, I will be adding a lot more to the shop. Lolo, Lolo, please stop. Lolo, please stop. Daddy. Sorry. <laughs> Seven. Two more. Yeah, I was um, super nervous, you guys. Carmina, you were there for the first one. That's awesome. I didn't know we had another uh, loyal follower here. <laughs> Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Sharon, it's, um, I will PM you. It's not super complicated, but I'll PM you. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, I've got nine more. Now we get to dovetail these bad boys. Anita, you were, Susan? Oh my gosh, I have a lot of first time followers here. You guys, y'all have made this such a journey, such an awesome journey. Um, I love every minute of doing this with you guys. Hi, Mama. I hope you are enjoying Florida right now. It's super cold here. <laughs> um, hubby is over there kind of corralling the chillins for a second. <laughs> Aw, thank you, Kim. I appreciate that. Oh my gosh, I'm scrolling down and I'm seeing all of these these, I was there too, I was there too. This is great. My heart is full. I'm very blessed. No, he's not lost, Sharon. He, uh, he's taking care of the kidlets for a minute. Laura, it's, um, Etsy dot, or um, dot com slash shop slash halo creative designs blah that was a mouthful to say and I appreciate your help thank you etsy.com backslash uh, forward slash shop forward slash halo creative designs hi Irina ah. you guys as much as y'all missed us we missed you too Every day I wake up, you can ask him, every day I wake up and I'm like, can we go live today? Can, can we make it? Can we go live today? And then just life and technical difficulties and then no internet and it just seems, you know, like it's been something every time. So 
hopefully we're about to get all the kinks straightened out. Hi Patricia in Louisiana. 50 below Judy, oh my goodness. How, how do you guys stay warm when it's below zero? I just- They wear jackets. I'm not a jacket wearer, leave me alone. I'm just curious. I mean, how do you keep your pipes from freezing? You know, that kind of stuff. Because that's some severe weather. No. Okay, did you get that, babe? Oh, I think I can pin it now. Yay, I think. Yay, he did it. Give my hubby some hearts. He pinned it. Yay. Super awesome, baby. And Thank you. <laughs> I'll be back in a minute. Yeah, I'll be in just a minute. Why? Layer, 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 right? Wine. Okay. <laughs> wine, that's another one. Wine. I would Where are you from liquor. the inside? Hard liquor. <laughs> no, that'd be your honey jack. Mm hmm. <laughs> He beat you. Laura, thank you. I appreciate you offering to help. From Snowy, Idaho. I'm glad we did not trying oh, to do that. Anymore. Idaho. I'm so glad we're past that. On our relocation here, we got stuck in the Montana. We didn't get stuck. We just. Well, we really were going like slowly. 30 miles an hour for one whole eight hour day um, in the mountains of Montana. <laughs> Your laundry drain is frozen. Oh, that's not good. That is not good. <laughs> Susan. <laughs> you know there's a vanilla Jim Bean now? I think I saw that commercial the other day, actually. And that and Coke would be a vanilla Coke. <laughs> yeah. Laura, I'm coming to your house. It's, if it's 76, uh, yeah, I'm on my way. We're in Arizona. No, no, she didn't say. We used, we, used to um, live out there. we used to live in Mesa. Um, our son was born in Banner Desert there in Mesa. Hey, Daddy. Hey, Daddy. Yeah, you worked in Tempe. Hey, Daddy, when I make it on swing, you're supposed to make it too. So for those of you just joining, the wreath that I'm working on is a 14-inch base wire frame. And there's 18 ties. I did the ruffle technique with 30 inch ruffles, one per tie, and then in every other tie, I did um, black and silver deco tubing, and then in the other nine ties, I did black and white basket weave mesh, um, 10 inch, cut at 10 inches, and I did the curl. So there's nine of those. And this is four inch um, canvas ribbon that I am adding to every tie. And we're gonna layer some ribbon in on top of these once we get them in. Five degrees, Sharon. Whoa! Daddy, put you lived in Chandler? Know exactly where that's at. Hi, Knoxville. Buffalo. Oh, I know it's cold there. Yeah, definitely cold there. And you guys, I made this um, reframe. frame. Whoops, I got a stray. Would you grab me a, a package of the tinsel rope over there, please? The tinsel rope? Mm-hmm. You mean the tubing? No, the rope. Babe, where the tubing is in the round square packages rolled up. Um, but it's called tinsel rope and I used it to make my own work frame basically. It's, they're thicker and they're the ones that you can leave um, exposed on your wreath to, to add another layer of dimension. Yeah, that stuff. What color? Any of it. I'm just going to show them what it is. Woo! So this is what it looks like. I got this at Craft Outlet. I got it in several colors, but it comes in a roll like this and um, I just cut my sections and attach it to my frame instead of using Chanel stems. 
I don't do that all the time, but if I don't have a work frame with the, the ties already on it and I want to incorporate those as part of the, the wreath that I'm building, then I will use those. Let's see. Hi, Jess. Thank you for joining. Tell my daughter I said hi. And thank you. Wow, I'm just seeing how cold everybody is. Well, we knew that one the day you asked everybody. That one post. Well, I know. Maybe there's some new people on here. <laughs> All right. Um, we've got a few more to add here. Yeah, the tinsel rope is just like... Um, Chanel stems. It's got the I thin wire in it. It's just um, thicker and, and fuzzier, like the ones that come on the already made wreath forms. Claudia, what is what called? I think she's talking about your rope. Oh, the tinsel rope? Tinsel rope. It's called tinsel rope. If you go to craftoutlet.com and search tinsel rope, they'll come up with several different colors. Hi, Emily. Let's see. Oh, that's who that was. <laughs> Paige, I don't know what's been up this year. I'm not thinking the traditional in terms of Valentine's. I've just been on the red and black kick. I don't know why. You're welcome, Claudia. Darlene, welcome. For those of you who are catching us live and you haven't signed up for our notification bot, um, you can get notified 20 minutes before we go live every time. And um, if you locate the pin post on the page, follow the um, prompts, you'll get signed up and, and get a, a message. Take him in the house then. Okay. Because I can't hear over him running and laughing. Sorry about that, guys. Um, so follow, uh, locate the pin post, follow the prompts, and um, you can subscribe to our notification bot. Hi, Marie. Thank you for joining. Paige, you're not really traditional either. I try to be, I try to think about what other people like, but then it's just like my brain gets hooked on this one color palette and I can't break it. And it has been the red and black for me. Tammy, you're doing a Mardi Gras. I just, I don't know. I have mixed feelings about Mardi Gras. I, they don't celebrate it here. And I know people who sell on Etsy should still do Mardi Gras, but I just, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, how to sign up. Rhonda, how to sign up on the, the page that you're watching this live on, the Halo uh, Creative Designs Facebook page. The pinned post at the top um, says, want to get notified when we go live. Just do what that post says. Um, comment on that post, um, the word live, and it will subscribe you to our notification bot. So when we go live, you'll get a message about 20 minutes beforehand. Usually I just say, you know, grab a snack, get comfy, and, you know, meet us back here. See, Sharon, they don't celebrate it around here either. So, like I said, mixed feelings on doing it. I don't know. I might surprise you. Donna, you've been busy today. Three Valentines in one day. I knocked out two yesterday, but that was all I was able to get done yesterday. <laughs> Put him on his iPad. Put him on his... Okay, whatever. It doesn't matter. I was just trying to help. It's late, and we have a five-year-old who's getting... Oh, you know, a wee bit cranky. All right, so I think I got them all. I'm not missing anything. So we've got the first layer of ribbons on, if you guys want to see. I 
I would love to have a brick and mortar store, Tammy. Someday. Someday. All right, I'm going to take, what am I going to do? I am probably going to try to poke a bigger hole in this. Because I don't think I can get my stem in there. And this pokes such a teeny <laughs> tiny hole. stems on the table somewhere. Could you hand them to me, please? Thank you. Wanda, I do see your posts. I sure do. Rhonda, um, I'm not sure how to tell you. Um, if you back out of the video and go to our Facebook page, thank you, honey. Um, the post at the very top, it's the pinned post. And it has instructions on how to subscribe. Okay, so I'm just going to take these stems and run them through the holes in my sign to attach with. They're going to blend into the wreath. How many rolls of the deco mesh did I use? Um, I think I used one and a half. Um, yeah, I think I used one and a half. Hi, Belinda. I think we would do both. B and yeah. B would still kind of for locals instead of doing craft shows. Yeah, I just have always wanted my own little storefront. I don't want something big. I want something small, you know, craft related. Um, I uh, I don't really enjoy doing craft shows, um, but I would also probably use my storefront as, you know, my workshop as well. I'm going to need the pliers to pull that through. <laughs> that was brutal. Okay. Do cut the long rolls like the short mesh. I'm not sure what you're asking. All right, so I have attached stems to all of the holes on my side. Ow! Wanda, do I do well financially with this? Um, I guess I can't complain. I've done fairly well. You know, my business venture is fairly new, but um, for what I am, I'm doing, I cannot complain. I'm very happy. Wanda got it. Where did I get the sign, Susan? I got it at Hobby Lobby today. They were just starting to put out their um, Valentine stuff. They had all the boxes out, and I caught this piece. I'm like, ah, oh, yeah, going Daddy. home with me. <laughs> and put his again. Deb, do you sell? Is that what I'm, I'm picking up here? I'm, I'm missing lots of the conversation here. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm just feeding this, the tinsel to the watch back out, so I can tie off Daddy, my sign. Watch out. Rhonda got it. Rhonda got it? Yep. Good job, Rhonda. I saw it pop, I saw it Daddy, pop watch out. Denise, they do still have some shops on the square in Murray, but um, I've only honestly been around the square one time since I've been home, and the best I could tell, all of the, the stores are not um, occupied, that there are some vacancies. Happy New Year, Nancy. 
hey, Rhonda, it was a good accident. <laughs> we saw the notification pop up. So um, if it doesn't automatically send it, I'll make sure that gets sent here in a little while. All right, so we've got two parts of the sign. Once we get the sign on, then you can go back and fix your ribbon. Oh, come on. Just that's feeding good. the stems through. Daddy, that's good. Wanda, I hope, I hope you watch often. There will be more lives. I don't know about you guys, but um, when I'm creating, it's my zen time. It's when all Daddy, my stress melts away I and uh, I get some good thinking done. <laughs> all right, I'm just straightening my ribbons. Do you fasten the sign on the ribbons tight? Um, it depends. Actually, I did that one too tight. Um, I don't want to to pull it down too tight because it mashes your mesh and your ribbons in an unflattering way. But you have to um, secure it so it doesn't flop around. But um, to answer your question, do I, do I fasten them tight? No, not super tight. Just so if I pick the wreath up and shake it, the, the sign's not going to flop or fall off. Do you cover the back or what do you use? I do cover the back. That's from Deborah. Um, <coughs> I do cover the back. Hang on, and I will show you exactly what I cover it with. I'm just trying to reposition the stem a little bit because I pulled it too tight. There we go. Cassandra is brand new to us. What is this all about? <laughs> Oh, I'm out. <laughs> All right. When I have a closed um, center wreath back and want to hide all of the nasty mechanics on the back, I buy round placemat covers. And I put about nine, eight or nine zip ties through the edge, and I zip tie them to the frame just like this. So your back's covered with a nice center. And then I will put some hot glue on the back of a business card, and I will put my business card on the back of this. That way, if they ever want to, you know, purchase another wreath or have me make a custom wreath, they've got all my information right there on the back. Cassandra, that's actually brand new. Hi, Cassandra. Yeah, she's still watching. What is this all about? Um, I teach you how to make um, wreaths and swags, and I haven't done a swag live or a centerpiece live, but I do. Can yes, I tell something? Yeah, go ahead. Um, me, um, I'm running back there, and I'm playing. Yeah, he's running behind the camera. He's going to sleep good tonight. Oh, you're welcome. I'm glad you guys like that tip. So, um, I'm not going to put ribbon in every tie, I don't think. <laughs> He's adorable. He can be. <laughs> he has his moments. He is my last born. All right. I'm just fluffing the ribbon because that's what I do over and over again, right? Okay. So far, here's what we have. If the back is covered, how do you hang it? Well, very good question. It is a very good question. One of two things. Um, depending on how you attach the um, placemat, sorry, the placemat to the back, you can attach it so you could just flip the lip of it down and hang it on the wire. Or you can put a pipe cleaner on the back that sticks out above the edge of the placemat, which I've done that. Or I've actually put like um, key, key ring holders, you know, the, the key ring circles with the lobster clasp. I've put those on there. So it's just kind of whatever I have at the moment and how heavy the wreath is and 
you know, I don't do one set thing, I guess. Okay, so I'm going to set this to the side and figure out what more ribbon. Hey, Bubba, could you take your wreath over there, please? So mommy has a room to set hers. I put aqua on it. Thank you. You can put away all your crafting supplies, okay? All right. So. I'll leave it now. That'll be fine for now. I think Wanda, I'm she normally doesn't do videos by herself. <laughs> uh, if you can hear me, I'm in the background trying to keep this one corral. But usually I'm there to help her and support her with the video questions. So if you hear my voice booming from the back, that's me usually uh, reading your guys' uh, questions and then having her answer them as she does with Hayden. Hello. Janet Walmart. Here. Here's my stack of all different colors. Black, gray, brown, tan, metallic green. I got these at Hobby Lobby, the metallic ones. But all of these colors I got in the home section of Walmart. Anita, good night. Hope Thank you. Feel you. Better. Thank you for joining us. Bye. Get bye some bye. rest. We all had the flu and strep and everything for like three weeks around here after we first got here. So we're finally on the mend. We totally know. Go get some rest. Janet, we don't always get the black one. I just got lucky. She's asking how do we get the black placements. Oh. I just happened to got lucky that day. Walmart. <laughs> all right. So. We're going to use some of this black, and this is what it looks like. It's got two solid lines and then like a, a mesh, if you can see, between it. And then I think we're going to use some of this black uh, honeycomb. And um, I think maybe some solid red. Hi, Sharon from North Carolina. Oh, Nancy, that's the worst. That's the worst. I mean, I've never had them, but I have heard. I know some people who have, and I've seen the pain on their face. So prayers for him. All right, so what is it, baby? Thank, <laughs> thank you. I love you. I have the most loving kids. I will be super sad the day that I no longer get hugs and kisses. All right, where can I put this? All right. You'll always get hugs and kisses. Oh, thank you, Miho. You're so sweet. All right. We're going to cut. We're going to do every other. So we're only going to cut nine of each. Have a good night, Wanda. She good night, well. Wanda. I wonder if my rotary cutter will cut these. And yes, I know there's much quicker ways to cut. Not today. Maybe on a night when I'm a little more prepared. Yes, baby. Okay, <laughs> I love you. Stay over here, love. Come on. So that's one, two, three, four, five. We're gonna do nine of each ribbon. My belly hurts. Oh my. Yeah, It's because you're running over there. You can't even breathe. Um, fourteen inches. Sorry, sorry, sorry. This is um one and a half inch ribbon. And I'm cutting it at 14 inches. This is one of the rolls from Sam's. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I need one more. Nine. Can I just say I miss my mama and daddy? They're in Florida right now. Enjoying it. Actually, I don't think it's like that warm in Florida right now, is it? <laughs> Back for another kiss, yep. <laughs> Laura, you are welcome. Um, I have 
all kinds of Valentine's ideas, but I think this is going to be my last Valentine's piece. I've done two already, and I think this is going to be my last one. Unless I just see something when I'm out shopping that I can't live without. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> I have good sense. They are both so super loving. But they're boys. All boys. Okay, not so loud, guys. I know it's funny, but not so loud. Uh. Um, Janet, yes, I have used my spool holder to wind the ribbon and cut. Um, I just am not doing it tonight. I don't know why. The mouse? the mouse is right there behind that ribbon, right here. Okay. <laughs> what? Mom says she loves the shirt. <laughs> Isn't he hunka 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 in it? I love him in red plaid. Huh? Linda, yes. you made your first wreath and it came out pretty. Granny. <laughs> Lola okay. made you a sign, Granny. I'll give it to you when you Your get son back. will be 32, Sharon. My oldest is my daughter and she's 25? 26? Ooh, 20. Ooh. 25. 25, yeah. <laughs> Wait, did you hear that? Oh, she's gonna kill me for that one. Danny, <laughs> <laughs> I made you another one. I'm counting <laughs> six. <laughs> Good. All right. Hello. Thirty-two son, thirty daughter, and twenty-five year old daughter. Wow. Wow. Daddy, give me your number. Five. Linda, I did mine the ruffle technique. Um, I will be doing a Daddy, tutorial on that very soon. Tomorrow night I'm going to be doing a grapevine tutorial, but for this one I did um, a 14 inch frame, 30 inch ruffles, and one ruffle per stem, and then in every other stem I put black and white deco tubing, and then in the other nine stems I put a curl of 10 inch um, basket weave, black and white mesh, um, cut at 10 inches. So 10 by 10 curl and nine ties. Linda, try not to now stress if you Daddy, can. Now I know when I do, then crafting becomes not that fun anymore else. and I lose my creativity and I'll sit and stare all day at one piece and not accomplish anything. Now Short roll or deco or long one? Daddy, will you help me Short roll of deco or long one. Um, it's 10 inch, so I'm not sure if that's the answer you were looking for. The red mesh is also 10 inch, yes. We're going to have a babysitter, guys, and it'll be just us two with no interruptions. 
but this is life. Sometimes it doesn't go as planned and you just kind of um, roll with the punches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I need two more. Mama, look, I got daddy's lumbe. Nice. All right, last cut here. Hi, Danny. Thank you for joining. Uh, yes. Back to school soon. <laughs> the kids go back on the 3rd, I think, and then he starts on the 18th. Then I can actually get some work done. Yes, Mom, we're going to do a live tomorrow night. I'm going to um, do the donation piece that uh, I've been planning. Good night, Patty. Thank you for joining us. Why did you kick me? Like your mom has a really fast way to cut ribbon. Yeah, I know the faster way to cut ribbon. I'm just not doing that tonight. Just not. This isn't a formal session. We were just sitting here. It's like, hey, let's go live. So. Can we see the couch, please? Can you see the <laughs> Not the couch people, Jesus. Can you ban him? Yeah. No I do like hardworking mom too, Linda, though. She uh, was one of the, um, the uh, videos I used to binge watch when I first started. Sharon. What is the issue? He crumbled up Granny's side. Alright, so finally, we have it all dovetailed, and we're going to finish adding them. So, um, yeah, <laughs> Nancy, if you want to catch the start of our lives, Go to the pinned post, follow the prompts to subscribe to our notification bot, and then 20 minutes before we go live, I send out a notice saying, grab a snack, get comfy, and meet us back here in 20, and um, then you'll see us on the page in about 20 minutes. So, oh, I know, Tammy, those couch people, it's, um, they've actually shut down some of the bigger designers' lives because of the whole couch thing, so... I was just like, let's nip this in the bud. Okay, every other tie, we're gonna do a black honeycomb and a red. The black honeycomb is two and a half inch and the red is one and a half inch. Thank you, Linda. Danny, you are being polite and as long as you can stay polite and you know, no couch biz, we're fine with that. Okay, so since I'm alternating ties and I have nine with the curls and nine with the tubing, I'm going to put these with the tubing ties. So just go through and locate your ties with tubing. Hayden's crying for no reason. Why is Hayden upset? I don't know about me. Try to ban this Danny McGee here in a minute. Okay, and another one. The red and white ribbon, this ribbon page, is four inch. And it's a canvas ribbon that I picked up um, on the Christmas clearance from um, um, Trees and Trans. Sorry. <laughs> Donna. The couch thing is these trolls get paid to come in and disrupt groups and talk about a couch. And then I guess their cronies come in and start spamming angry faces and Facebook shuts down lives. So if that happens, guys, give me a minute and I'll be right back. We'll start another live. Why are you being, being polite now? 
He's not either. He keeps talking about it. Oh, is he? Yeah. Just don't feed the trolls. Never feed the trolls, guys. What trolls? Every comment, every interaction you give him, guys, is points mm -hmm. for him. So if you just don't acknowledge it, he doesn't win. It is very childish. But I guess they're bored. All right. Keep going and adding the ribbon. I need to get my screen back. It starts to get so full, I can't uh, tell who's got what's. Is. I am opening each tie as I add more. Google it. good on the top. Let's start hitting the bottom. I think I need to wear my contacts when I do this because when I look down my glasses slide down the tip of my nose. Daddy look it's a police ticket. It is I see. You know how I got the mountains in the background? How did you get the mountains in the background? The on the back. <laughs> oh, that was slick. All right. I feel like the ribbon step takes more time than any of Mama, it. Mama, you're yes, going honey? to jail. I'm going to jail. Yeah, because you're making too many reads. I guess I'm making too many reads. Well, I guess that's a good reason to go to jail, huh? Thank you for my ticket. It's a ticket to go to jail. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so again, I cut um, the ribbon tails at, can you scroll up so I can see comments, please? It's already scrolled up. Is it? Yeah. Oh, okay, sorry. Um, 14 inches. The red checked ribbon is four inch ribbon. The honeycomb black ribbon is two and a half inch. And then the red and the black are going to be um, one and a half inch. Is anybody still with us? Got awful quiet. Y'all are boys. Y'all make noises. Yeah. Any more? Yep. Yeah, one more. One more. Almost done. With this ribbon, anyway. Oh, here it is. Are we having technical difficulties? Did we lose the feed? No. No? Okay. Look at all those angry faces. All right. Oh, come on. Okay, 
Now we're going to start with the black. And since um, I'm putting it in there we go. the ties. Oh, see? Yay! Now I see comments. Woohoo! <laughs> Linda, it was frozen here. I'm not sure what was up. I thought we lost the feed, to be honest. Yeah, the angry faces are from the trolls, you guys. That's what they do, but you know what? We don't mind those angry faces because it's still post-engagement, and engagement's engagement. I'll take it any way we can get it. All right. Yeah, that blurriness comes from, uh, just from us being out in the country a little bit. It's Facebook, and how do we get rid of the trolls? Unfortunately, there isn't anything you can do. Just ban them. I'll get busy on it at the end of this live. They won't be on the next one. Thank you, Danny. Nice to see you're still here and being nice. <laughs> ticket to go to jail. Oh, thanks for my ticket. It's to go to jail. Okay. Linda, I will miss my little guy. When they're in school, I do miss them. I'm like, why are they being so quiet? And then I realize, oh, wait, they're not here. <laughs> we are in the bluegrass state, right? We are. Yes, bluegrass state. Well, Danny, that's okay, because each one you create, we can surely ban... Yes, Debbie, Debbie we, we can, can see, see you. you. Maybe I need to talk to Hot Mesh Mom, Nicole. I will find out exactly how we do it, and it will happen. <laughs> what type of wreath is your base? My wreath base is a 14-inch wire frame. And... Um, Oh, come out. I can't get this other tie out. It is a um, 14 inch wire frame and I used 10 inch deco mesh and cut it at 30 inches to do the ruffle technique. And um, I have 18 ties on here, so there's 18. You can, uh, you can hang them both inside and out. Yep. I think I have them all on the top. Let's see. Every time we see you mad face, but uh, yeah. uh, let's see. It looks awesome. <laughs> Damon can tell you how to do it. Hot mom can tell you how to watch her. Gorgeous. Hi, Sandy in Owensboro. We even have someone from Boston. Hi, Hi Boston. Mom. Thank you for joining us. It'd be easier to work without the red sign and the front and put it on later um you could you could i it's only all, it's all her prep it's all preference it's preference i don't guess there's a, a right step or a wrong step number to add a sign if um it were a bigger sign i probably would have added it after the ribbon but um since i can still get to the ties because they're right here at the edge of the sign i didn't worry about it maricopa maricopa arizona maricopa hi missouri hi california nacogdoches texas welcome hi from western kentucky leslie linda we're in kentucky sorry guys i'm trying to go down through this Daddy, read everybody's please comments. Please badge on there. Hi, Oregon. Daddy, will you make me a police badge on the on his vest? Irina, I've I've done it both ways. It really, honestly, depends on what I'm working on as to which one I do first. 
And really, if I haven't just completely decided on ribbon, it may be the last thing I do. <laughs> Got it. Here is what we have so far, guys. Shh. Give me some hearts, some thumbs up if you like it. Stephanie, no response. I didn't see your question. On this side, the, they kind of fly by. So if I missed your question, I apologize. You can feel free to ask it again. Uh, I don't start school until the 18th. Uh, right now, I'm just waiting for my advisor to get back into town so I can um, sign up for my classes. Uh, you can do a 21 inch mesh. Can you do it with a 21 inch mesh? Um, you can totally do ruffles with a 21 inch mesh. I just wouldn't recommend it because it's going to make it so poofy. Um, for the ruffle technique, I really do recommend 10 inch mesh, cut at 30 inches. Um, when I use 21 inch mesh, and don't get me wrong, I use a lot of 21 inch mesh, but I do the poof technique. And that's pretty much the only thing I do with 21 inch mesh. Diana, yes, all my ribbon is wired. Um, I have worked with non-wired, but um, only in certain projects and only a couple of times. It just it doesn't hold its shape. So if you're making a big bow, it's not um, not going to be as pretty. It's not going to you know fill out nicely and, and hold its loops or, or anything the way you want them. So I guess tonight was our night to get over the all the creeps and wackos and all the guys who got nothing better to do. Oh, it was bound to happen. No social life. So I'm just wondering, do I want to stop here? Do I want to add anything else? Um, Yeah, I'm going to stop here, guys, because I'm not really sure if I want to do anything else to this or if I want to leave it just this simple um, piece. If I do anything else to it, I might add a terry bow or maybe some hearts or something to it. But here it is. Um, we'll have this up in the Etsy shop, hopefully, before bed tonight, if anyone is interested in purchasing it. Um, do you want to take this, babe? Yeah. And would you hand me the carrot? I want to show them the carrot. I'm going to, Linda, I'm not sure how much I'm going to charge for it yet. Once the live's over, I'm going to take a, a picture of it. What I do with every wreath is I, I do it, I take a picture of it, and then I look at that picture. And what that picture does is it tells me where I need to add things or where I need to move things. Um, it's just easier to get a visual from looking at a picture than it is looking down at my piece of work. So once I do that, then I decide if I want to add any other ribbons or um, embellishments or, or, or what have you. And then I figure out um, what all of my materials cost, and that's how I, I price. So um, once it's in there, I'll know exactly how I'm going to price it. And I'm sorry I couldn't answer that any better for you right now. <laughs> okay, so one of the next tutorials that I'm going to bring you in the next couple of days is this um, carrot tutorial. This is done on the Dollar Tree Witch hats, haha, -ha, except for I modify it a little bit. I cut it into pieces um, and I'll show you exactly how I cut it and where I attach things um, in, a, <laughs> in another tutorial. So um, this one is coming in a few days. This one is also available per, available. Bull, I can't talk. Available for purchase in our Etsy shop right now. <laughs> so um, I only have enough materials for two of these. So grab them while you can. Here's that baby. Mm -hmm. Do we have any questions? I'll, I'll stay on here for just a couple of minutes more. Um, let's see. Hi, Damon. You did, we're wrapping up. Dang, you missed the couch, dudes. Oh yeah, all those guys sitting <laughs> behind in their mama's basement with the yeah on a typewriter. Um, Damon, if you don't mind, I need um, the policeman is on fire. The policeman's on fire. Oh no. Um, 
I need to find out how to ban these people because, um, yeah, I'm a little technologically uh, not advanced. So, anyway, thank you guys, everybody, for tuning in tonight. Um, well, Damon, actually, I have a couch over there that I could sell them, but my kids might get a little ticked off that I take their seats away from them. So, <laughs> I enjoy my couch, doggone it. It ain't for sale. Donna, I, I love the witch's hats, and I have about 32. I'm going to be doing um, some deco mesh carrots, but I really wanted to do the, uh, the burlap one as a tutorial for you guys. But like I said, I'll show you how to cut the frame and, um, and all of that stuff uh, in the tutorial. So, let's see. The carrot is fabulous. You need to teach me how to do this. Can you use the Santa hat? I have not used the Santa hat. I'm going to say you probably could, um, but it's going to, you know, you're going to have to strategically place your stems um, and your bundles to get that carrot shape out of that Santa hat. But I'm sure it can be done. Happy New Year, Cheryl. Um, again, you guys, thanks for joining us so late at night, and I'm glad that our live feed maintained through the whole thing. This is. This is hallelujah moment. And um, like I said, join us tomorrow night because I'm going to be doing the grapevine donation piece for um, my friend and her fundraising event. So I um, hope to see you guys there. If you haven't signed up for our notification bot, check out the pinned post on the top of the page and follow the prompts. It'll tell you what you have to do to subscribe. And about 20 minutes before we go live, I'll send you out a little notice that says, get comfy, grab a snack, and meet us back here in 20. What did you so. need? Do you use your phone? Damon asked you, do you use your phone for your videos? I do use my phone for my videos, and then I have my laptop up for um, the comments because my phone's so far away from me, and I, I can't really see. I will, Sharon. I already got a mental note about it. Sharon, I'll message you. All right, guys. Um, yeah, I got to get up to turn it off, but uh, you'll get a close-up. But thank you, and I hope to see everyone tomorrow night.